With a team like the Red Bulls, uh, you know, what I bring that's Australian um, would definitely have to be my heart, my pride um, on the pitch. Uh, I give everything. It's um, something that, that, that Australians do. Uh, we never give up on and off the park and we always, you know, make sure we give our all and, you know, make sure that we're good sportsmen at the same time. But, uh, you know, off the park, I think it'll have to be the barbecues. Um, you know, I've had a lot of the boys over for um, a good old-fashioned uh, barbecue and to chill out. And I suppose that's a big part of, you know, my upbringing as well. But uh, overall, being Australian, I'm very proud. And uh, being an Australian a Red Bull, and especially with so many nationalities, um, maybe 12 to 13 in our team, um, it, it's great that I can add that different bit of spice. So, uh, you know, it's a great team to play for. As I look back... Um, on the events that I've played for in Australia and what makes me really proud. Um, the biggest highlight of my career obviously was first playing for Australia, making my debut um, in England. Um, it was pretty special because you know I come off the bench and I was this young kid that always dreamed of playing um, for my country. But the one memory that stands out the most was 2006 uh, in Germany. We played Japan and we're losing 1-0 uh, and it was about the 75th minute, maybe a bit later. Um, I was lucky enough to come on the pitch and be the first ever goal scorer in a World Cup for, for my country. Um, you know, to, to have that and you know, all the hard work that you put in is, is priceless. And you know, probably five minutes later, I scored the second and it pretty much made the stadium and the whole Australia erupt. So, you know, they're, they're definitely up there as the best memories, but you know, always playing for my country. It's been two World Cups, you know, now it's going to be a third in Brazil. Uh, I'm very proud of that and, and also to be part of the Asian group and playing the Asian Cups as well. Uh, for, for living in America um, is, is a lot different to, to living in, in, in England, um, being a professional. Uh, time wasn't, you know, a lot in England because you played in the Premier League where you played up to three games a week. Um, you train long hours and you played up to 50, maybe 60 games a year with international schedule as well. Uh, the Red Bulls, it's, it's, it's a bit lighter. We play 36 games plus the playoffs. But um, my free time is mainly with my family. Um, living in America is, it, is nice because I live outside of the city, which is Manhattan. Um, so there's a lot of space. Uh, my children get to enjoy you know, the backyard and the pool and, 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 and living in such a great climate. You know, eight months a year, it's beautiful. Whereas in England, it was, um, you know, 11 months a year rain. And obviously, I haven't lived in Australia for a very long time. I only get to visit on international games um, and also at the end of the year, if I can, if I don't, don't have uh, an international schedule. So, you know, I, I'm fortunate enough that I get to have the best of both worlds to come into New York. We, we go to watch shows, we go to some nice restaurants, and at the same time, um, I still get that amazing feeling driving in every time when you, when you come to New York. It's, I can understand why they call it the capital of the world. With the New York Red Bulls, um, you know, we, we love what we do on the park. Uh, we play football and we're very proud of what we do. But a big part of uh, uh, what we do is, is off the park is, you know, spending time in the community and um, really trying to, you know, do some great things with the fans. And obviously, um, we go to hospitals, um, we go to schools, we set up programs. And, and you know, it's, it's a great thing because so many players team up together. You know, you go with a pairing and, you know, during the week someone might go to a hospital and another week you might go to a school and it's nice to have that interaction because um, you know even though you've got so many different sports here with NFL and NBA uh, and hockey um, the MLS is still really big here and it, it's nice that you get the recognition and um, the fans praise for that and also it's, it's nice for us as human beings to give something back to such a such a beautiful place. How do I rate our chances in Brazil? Well, first of all, it's, um, it's going to be a, an emotional time, being a third time for, for a lot of us who, who are part of the, the, the team again. For me, you know, I, I'm, I'm always uh, quite sceptical and make sure that we keep our feet on the ground. You know, so long as we you know, try and take a game at a time, if we can get out the group, then that'll be a, a massive achievement. Achievement, And after that, you never know because it's, uh, it's all knockout stages. But, if we can get out of our group, it, it'll be another special time like it was in 2006 in Germany. For updates on the Red Bulls and any other news and events, be sure to check out the Australia in the US Facebook page.